Alright YouTube, I'm out here one more time trying to make another video for you. Uh, hopefully I have a new one here after this one. Uh, right now I'm in Thomaston, Georgia. I'm at the uh, river down here below the Walmart. And I'll show y'all, this is, the river is up. It is like way up today. We've had a lot of rain and right now as we speak, I believe I have a fish on, but I'm not too sure because the current's rushing so fast. But uh, hopefully I do got a fish on. I'm hoping anyway. It's been a while since I put out a video and I'm trying to get them out, but between working and doing this, it's kind of hard right now. But this is what, we're, what I'm doing. I got my little setup right here. I got me all my fishing gears over there. I am planning on doing a camp and cook. Not tonight though. Today is just a fishing day. I just wanted to throw out a little short video for y'all, let y'all know I ain't forgot about you. Anybody that's watching, subscribe to me. Um, just keep, you know, hit the like, subscribe button, and hit that little bell and notifications, let y'all know anytime I put out a video, and hopefully I'll be putting out one on Big Lazar here soon. Um, and so I, I recommend it because it is free camping. It's big old lake out there do have to watch out for alligators does have signs watch for gators and uh they do have some big catfish out there i was out here recently doing some fishing with my son and my family and we pulled in a big cat he snapped the line right before we got to the bank but we saw him he's a big cat we did catch a bunch of little bass and a few catfish out there um, i was gonna do a camp, catch and cook that night in camp but um it was kind of rainy all day so i mean it had been one of miserable kind of days to me but i'm doing this for y'all so y'all have a, a good day and i'll be back with y'all with more once i start catching something and i'll keep y'all updated and i hope y'all enjoy these videos i am trying my best to put more videos out i'm not able to right now because of work and stuff but um i do believe we may have a fish on I'm going to try it out and see if not, and I'll back with y'all shortly. All right, y'all, so far, no luck, but let's see. The river is flowing this bump pretty hard underneath this bridge right here. Man, it's hot out here, too. It's a nice old area. I mean, I've caught some decent-sized catfish out of here, a bunch of brim. Um... Got two lines out now. Both of them for cat or something, whatever I get. I like to do a catch and cook today. But if worse comes to worse. Oh, 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 I am getting hit. It is hitting it. Check this out. It is hitting it. That is a fish. Let's see if I can get him in. Fish. It's either fish or turtle. It's hitting it though. That's all I care about. Let me see if I can get them in, y'all. I only got one hand, so. I got one on the camera, one on the pole. Maybe a small turtle. But I'll be back with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, well, pole that I was on, I'm getting bites on it right now. But while I'm getting bites on it, another pole kind of brought me in a nice little catfish. We're going to be doing some good eating tonight, y'all. But now my other pole's getting hit again. I had to rebate it, but now he's getting hit. All right, y'all, be back soon. All right, I'm back, y'all. So, got the poles baited up, both of them are out, and... Hoping and praying that we get another cat. I mean, that's a that's good size for the, for me. And I mean, I ain't gonna catch them and kill them and not cook them. But that one actually started bleeding out on me. So it got down deeper in his throat. I had to take it on out. But right now I got him on my line right here, and I got that pole. 
right there, out that way, on the way out there. So that's why I just caught the other cat. And then my other pole is right down here. And I'm actually casting it out like right up in there. And every time I look at it, it looks like it's getting a bite, but it's the current dragging it down, so. But hopefully I catch another nice little cat. I mean, he ain't got to be a giant, but something that, you know, I put with this one and make a meal out of, because that one, ain't, he ain't small, but I ain't little either. <laughs> so keep an eye on these poles, because it seems like every time I look at one, I want them to jump on me. And this one right here. He's already getting a bite on it, but I think it's either a small fish or a little baby turtle out there messing with that one. Because I've already had to break the hooks off a couple times. But if y'all enjoy these videos, like I said before, like and subscribe. I mean, tell people about me. I mean, I ain't no big shot or nothing like that, but I like to be. <laughs> Well, I heard something. I guess it's the pigeons. But yeah, I'm trying to make it on uh, YouTube as a subscriber. You know, for, I subscribe to a lot of other people. Like, uh, I like Joe Robinett. Y'all to check his channel out. Um, the Wooded Beardsman. Um, Mainstream. And can't tell if it's what it is. It's getting a bite, that's what it's doing. Something's biting at it. Let's see what we got here. Let's get let's get you. Let's see if we can get you on the pole. Got him. Oh, oh, he's a big one too. Oh god, he's a big one. Alright y'all. Oh, he's a fighter too, son of a biscuit eating whore. Oh, he's a big one. Look, y'all. I'm about to pull him in. Easy. All right. I'll bring him in. I'll be back with y'all. Like I said, he was a big one. I mean, he's... Oh, God. Let me see. If I can get him. Oh, 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 oh. Quit snapping. Trying to snap my line. Man, he's about... I want to say he's a good... I mean, I wear a size 11 and a half, so... He's a good foot and a half, maybe foot and a quarter, something like that. That's gonna be some good dinner tonight. I think he's the ones that mess with my line the whole time out there. I guess it is a good fishing day. All right, y'all stay tuned for more. I'm about to put him online and get back out there. I got a couple uh, more to catch for the days over with. Maybe I can put some in my freezer. Uh-uh, you stay still. Oh, God. But y'all just check him out one more time. He is yeah all right y'all well i mean whew, it is hot out here i am sweating like crazy um i got two fish on the line right now on stringer i got two poles still sitting out i ain't checked the yellow pole in a minute i got the green pole sitting back over here where i called that one i'm gonna see if i can catch another one about decent size one anyways i'm telling you I'm guessing the, the fish are hungry now because they're um they're hitting like crazy. This pole ain't even been out there like a minute before I got back on here and it's already starting to get a hit. Let me, I put the here my secret is I put the smallest of smallest, like you know, little small hooks like that on there. And I put the bait all the way up the hook up the string a little bit. So the little bit of the uh, the, the worm dangles down. And I drop it on out there, I said, because the way I look at it is if they swallow the hook, then I got them. I mean, it's, it's over with. But the, like the one I just reeled in, he barely had the hook lift on his mouth. But he must have been hungry to take it because, I mean, he, he barely just took it. And I got a treble hook on this other one over here. So whatever gets it, it's going to have to take it. I mean, it's got, it's got worm on it too. So I'm hoping uh, I can catch at least one more good size one like that one. And then... Uh, I'm gonna do a catch and cook. As far as I said, like, you know, I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a cook down here, 
I didn't bring my uh, little stove and everything with me because I can't make a fire down here for the fact that, um, I mean, the Upson County police might show up on me and tell me I can't do it, put it out with her. I don't know for sure. Maybe one day I'll do it. But right now, I'm just happy to be catching some fish. Just be ha I'm happy to be doing a video, matter of fact, because I ain't done it in a while. My little niece, um, Haley, she's been asking me to do another video because she's bored of watching all my the videos I've already made. So she can uh, look at this video and see that I gave her a shout out. Haley Yarbor, this is for you, a new video. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll make some more here soon. And between me working and trying to make videos, it's kind of hard right now. But y'all just uh, stick in there with me. Tell people about me. I mean, you ain't got to make me famous or nothing. I mean, it ain't nothing like that. It's just I do it basically like I said before for my kids. I want them to have something to remember me by whenever I'm gone. So they ain't got to, you know, just look at pictures of me. They can actually watch these videos and say, look, that's my daddy. That's what he done with us. So I want y'all to see this. Uh, hopefully here soon I'll be doing another video with uh, a buddy of mine, Troy. Um, he should be coming in, and if I can get my brother away from his house for a little bit, maybe he can come down and do a video with me out on the river and stuff. We do a camp and cook video one night or something. But um, y'all uh, just, you know, put my name out there to people who like, you know, watching this kind of stuff. I'm an amateur <laughs> as far as that goes. I'm not... Uh, I'm not like the other ones and everything. Um, now, I do recommend, you know, like I said before, Joe Robnett, love his videos. I mean, he does a lot of bushcraft and all that. The, the Woody Beardsman and uh, Fowler, uh, Mainstream, uh, NSFW. I just, you know, I, rem I recommend these people because this is, you know, the kind of stuff they do is the kind of stuff I wanna do. I mean, their life is, that's their life they they make their living doing that plus they uh fowler he makes boats and stuff and you know um the uh ace videos i mean he he does great videos too i, I love his videos and that's kind of like what i want to do i mean that's that's been my whole life I'm, I'm a nature person but i love to fish fishing is my biggest and hopefully soon i'll be uh getting more videos up here like I said, I got one video I'm about to put out, um, hopefully in the next couple of days. I'm gonna be out on uh, Big Lazar up in Thomaston. Well, uh, not really Thomaston, but it's um, Talbotton, sorry. It's Talbotton, Georgia, um, right down below Thomaston, but that's a nice place. It's free to camp. It's first come, first serve. You can make your fires there. You got a big old river, you got two places. Two different places in that area that you can go camping um i am going to do a video of catch and cook and camp on that one today it's just going to be a catch and cook i'm more likely going to be at home cooking today uh because the fact that i, I don't think i can camp or i can't i know i can't camp but i don't think i can cook here if i brought my stove we'd be doing a cook here today but anyways like i said y'all just uh like and subscribe to these videos push that little bell right there so you can be notified when I make more videos and let other people know you know let them all know about me and like I said I do appreciate the ones that have subscribed and the ones that watch my videos and watch them fully through because I mean sometimes there's surprises I mean you never know but I'm gonna go around on the other pole and check it out because I ain't seen it move in a while this one over here is out there again and maybe in a few minutes, I'll be back on here with another fish. All right, y'all. See you in a minute. All right, I'm back. Um, new update. Nothing on my other pole. I ain't got a bite here in a minute, so. I'm just sitting back, relaxing now, just to well, watch the poles and do a little bass fishing. Might get lucky and get some bass today. Normally this river, you could actually walk across it up underneath this bridge and I you know a good summer day when it's down and everything, you could actually walk across this thing, but man, I wouldn't even chance it. I got a pole up there, it goes up to nine foot and it's right at the nine foot right now, just in that area. 
so that just tells me that there's deeper spots out here and there's some big old catfish out here too mm. now, i ain't seen no snakes cross the river today i have seen snakes down here uh a few times but oh, oh got, got another one he's on he's on fish on fish on got him. oh y'all hang on got this one too uh, oh it's another cat oh it's another cat it's another cat look y'all can see that one i reeled that one in he's a small one but oh look at that that's what i'm talking about Whoo! <laughs> y'all got to see me catch one on the camera <laughs> but i am gonna have to keep them just for the fact that i do use small hooks and that one's down in his gut he done swallowed that one so i don't want to take and throw him out in the water and he die on the way down the river so i'm gonna put him on my line y'all and set the line back up and see what else i can get out there i'm hoping for a bigger one though i really am i mean he's He's a good size eating one. I mean, I can make a... I mean, I don't fillet my fish anyways. I, I cook them whole. That's how I get all the good meat. I mean, there's meat around the jaws, everything. All right, y'all. I'll be back in a minute. Whew. I'm just glad y'all was on here whenever you, I was reeling that one in. All right, well, I, had a, I thought I could get the hook out because it wasn't down his belly like I thought it was, but it's hooked in the back of his throat. Ended up breaking off. I took using tweezers, but they didn't work. I got a new hook on it, got it already sitting out there. I just got back on here and I'm already starting to get pops at it. I believe I might have landed into a little small catfish bed right here. But I kind of want a bigger one. I want something that, you know, because I got me, my wife, and two kids. We're gonna be eating on this fish tonight. I want to do some fishing so I catch some fish for a catch and cook. And this video will be finished up at my house. I'm going to um, finish up cooking there and everything, show y'all how I you know, do this. But, uh, you know, my other pole is, I got it sitting over there. It may have a fish on it. I just I ain't checked it since the last time I checked it because <laughs> I keep getting hits right here in this area. So I may be having another fish on in just a minute here. I do like to do all these camping videos and stuff like that and catch and cook videos. I mean, if you got kids, this kind of stuff they need to learn. You know, they need to teach them, you know, how to fish, teach them how to make shelters. I mean, teach them how to camp, and not be scared of the dark and be scared of the wild animals and stuff. I mean, like I tell people, animals don't bother me. I'm more afraid of being, you know, out there and somebody come up on me while I'm asleep than an animal because a person, this day and time, you can't, you just, you just don't know. But hoping uh like i said within the next couple days i'm gonna have another video up you know for y'all from uh big lazar i'm gonna do a camp catching cook out there overnight maybe one or two nights we'll have to see what's going on how the weather's doing but uh y'all enjoy these videos like i said like subscribe hit that uh little bell let me know y'all like it throw my name out there to other people you know I'm still an amateur at this, but I do know a lot about nature as far as, you know, what I can and cannot eat and, you know, how to survive. I actually applied for that one time for the, the role of the loan and I got a call back on it, but my only problem is, is I don't like airplanes. I can't get on an airplane, I'm sorry. I can tell people, God gave me legs, he didn't give me wings. He wanted me to fly, he didn't put me with wings, so, but, uh, I don't like airplanes. I've got a fear of heights. Other than that though, oh, there I go again. This one's got it too. Y'all give me one minute. Y'all might see another one get reeled in. Let's see. But uh, I gave it a little snow. It might be snow trying to come up river with it. Let's see in a minute here. But yeah, I did get the roll. I mean, I had to, uh, I'd have to take and get an airplane. That's my only biggest thing, and I couldn't do it. I mean, if I could have got away with not getting an airplane, I'd have been all right. But, yeah, get another bike. But 
anyways y'all i'm gonna see if this one takes it if it does i'll put y'all back on here in a minute I gotta have my hands free so i can i think i'm getting a bite on the other one too but I'll be back in a minute i wanted to give y'all an update real quick well my hook broke <laughs> so anyways this is what i use okay i got uh right there that's my bullet weight and my little bitty hook it's just enough i mean on the camera it looks a little bit bigger but it's actually small just enough for it to suck it down into his gut and once then is mine but uh i'm gonna get it on back out there and see what else i can catch need at least one more good size one I'm hoping the yellow pole's got one on it but um I need one more good size one after that you never know I believe I got a catfish. I think it swallowed my hook. But it can't be determined because of the current. I'm gonna let him take off though. Just to make sure. I think what's been attracted him is I had gotten two things of worms and they sat out in the sun a little too long, started to melt, and I'm guessing the, the stink or whatever coming off of it just attracting to the bait. So I've been getting here left and right and everything now. I mean, it's been a good fishing day today. It's really muggy though and really hot. So I've been drinking my water today. Well, what's left of it? But this is the area I'm in on the river, underneath the bridge. Oh yeah, and another thing too I was gonna tell y'all. If y'all like to, if y'all like camping and stuff like that, I recommend uh, Stevo. He uh, he does stealth camping. And I'm gonna tell you something, I, I, I love to stealth camp, especially in places you don't supposed to be camping at, like on the side of the highways, stuff like that. I mean, you know, it's only illegal if you get caught. That's it. It's illegal if you get caught. Most time they don't do nothing but run you off. I mean, but there again, I do love to stealth camp. I do wanna do some of that too. And, uh, Y'all can look him up under stealth camping. He's, I mean, his name is Steve-O. Um, it's, it's good videos to watch there too, especially if you like the stealth camp. And, uh, you know, this kind of stuff I love. If I could have me a little small camper sitting up on the hill, right up right up on that hill right there and wake up to see this every morning even if i didn't catch a fish every day i'd still want to wake up to see this every morning sit out there on my front porch drink a cup of coffee look at the river just watch the debris float down the river from when the you know it's rised up put me some line hooks out catch me some big old cats out of here do a lot of bass fishing i actually want to try camping that way on down there one day when the water's down though get a boat put in there float on down the river right there and pull up on that bank up there that high bank there's a few places down there i've seen and uh be some nice camping i'd like to do some camping down there myself 
just to, you know, I mean, it'd be like stealth camping, basically, because I don't, I don't know if it'd be illegal. I mean, I ain't seen no trespass signs, no, you know, do not enter, stuff like that, which, I mean, like some people tell you it's common sense, but it's also known that if it's got a no trespass sign, then it's illegal. But I haven't seen the first tre no trespass sign, especially, you know, being right here on the river, I could probably float this river down a little, about a half a mile down and camp out on side. And I mean, it's nothing but acreage, of nothing but woods. I'd love to do that too. I feel like I got a fish on this line. It's just, I don't want to take the chance from reeling it in until I know for sure. Cause it's just steadily just pulling down and letting back up like the catfish is on there, trying to swim up river with it. He'll eventually get tired, give up, and try to go the other way. Yep, I think that's what he's doing now. Because that is just a hard pull. Yeah, he's had to have swallowed it. Yep, that's what's happening. Check my pole out, just wash that pole. We got some major current here, but I mean, sometimes it goes way on down, like he's on there, like he's trying to swim back up river with it. I know y'all hear that traffic going up over me. It's out today, that traffic is. It's a little after four right now. I've been down here since about 2.30. And I just, I love it. I may try stealth camping down here one night. Maybe, we'll to see about that. I'm pretty sure all they do is run me off if they catch me, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Come down here and do some fish and catch me a couple fish and do a catch and cook. Still camp that night. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to get off here until catch something else if not I may be uh seeing y'all back at my house for catch and cook to end this video and um if y'all like to describe this and y'all want to see me come down here and camp out one night um let me know in the comments I mean my comments are on I, I get very few comments from people but like I said Y'all leave me some comments. Let me know if y'all want me to come down here and do some stealth camping. Uh, I'll do it. I ain't scared. But, uh, like I said, y'all just like and subscribe. Let me know. Uh, I mean, if you're in the Thomaston area and you, you like to fish, leave me a comment. Maybe we'll get together one day and make a video or something and do some fishing. You know, bring the boat out, whatever. And uh, I really want to get on this river with a boat. So, see y'all soon. Hi, right, y'all. Well, it's almost five o'clock. Getting ready to pack up, head to the house. Do our catch and cook there at the house. My phone's going crazy. Um, Got to check out, like I said, Zach Fowler. Check out his channel. Um, just Joe Robinett, the Wooded Beardsman. You know, give them a check it, you know check it out their channels 
they got merch on their channels, you know, uh, they let you know about you taking purchase some of their merch, you know, Ace Videos, Mainstream, I mean, NSWF, I mean, check them all out. Like I said before, they're, that's my favorite, you know, that's what I watch. And, I mean, uh, and then Steve-O, check his channel out, Stealth Camping, buy some of his merch, he's, he's a good one. I mean, I like, that's the kind of stuff I watch, so. Anyways, y'all, I'll see y'all back at my house. Hi, right, y'all, well, I got everything packed up, ready to go. And I was reeling in and got another little catfish. That makes four. I'm thinking about throwing out for one more. These are small. By the time I get them cut, or well, the heads cut off and ready to eat, We'll see. See y'all back at the house. Well, I was on cast out one more time and I caught this. Let's see. Thank you, man. There we go. He's a little too small. I'm going to let him go. Let him get bigger. He ain't even a hand size eating. But I figure I want to put it on camera for y'all. So, letting y'all know there's some catfish out here. And I mean, today I thought. You know, with the river running like it is, they wouldn't be biting, but they're tearing it up. So, like I said earlier, I'll catch y'all back at home. I'm um, packing up. We're headed out. See ya. All right, y'all. Well, I'm at home, and I've got the fish cleaned up and ready to cook. Um, I mean, it's, that's the biggest one I got. Got them all cleaned up and ready. Cutting up some potatoes, got some onions up here. I'm gonna get my seasoning out and, um, you know, take get stuff done. Um, I'm waiting on my wife and my daughter to get back. My son went and spent nights with his grandmama tonight, so I'm cooking this up a fish dinner tonight and. I hate it's not on the river. I wish it was, but you know, hey, at least I get to cook it. But uh, I'm tired. I was gonna tell y'all too. I forgot all these things that um about the people that I watch and stuff. Well, my son he loves the outdoor boys, and I watch a lot of their videos too because I mean their dad's just about like I am. Just, I, I love to take my kids out camping, fishing, and, you know, teaching them about how to do stuff and everything instead of video games. Most kids this day and time stay on video games all the time. So, um, but yeah, I'm taking, uh, getting taters ready, getting dinner prepped up and ready, and then in a few minutes I'll have y'all in the kitchen with me and we'll take and finish this video up and get ready for the next one. All right, y'all, well, my family's finally back, so here's the deal. I got my fish over here. I got it marinating. And then I got my snap peas on. And then I got my fried potatoes. And then I do got some fish on. That's the bigger fish. Be back whenever it's ready. fish is done. Now it's time to get it up out of here. Let's see. That's how that looks right there. Got some onion down in here. This is the other piece of fish. There's one fish right here. I got three more over here. And I'm about to fix some plates. Eat some food. And enjoy it and y'all listen out for my next video like i said like subscribe and hit that bell so y'all can get the rest of my videos